Hello and welcome! I've got another bit of early animation staff info for you today, courtesy of my good friend Kaigen, who was also the guy kind enough to provide me with the Yuya Takahashi information last time this happened. This information all comes directly from a member of Super's production team who will obviously remain anonymous, but unless anything changes, this information is accurate. Today's video extends beyond just Takahashi's next appearance though, we've also got the staff for the last episode of Super, and it's definitely got me very curious about what this means for the show's finale. So without further ado, let's jump in. I think a lot of people were hoping Takahashi would supervise a part of episode 130, or at the very least animate on it, and considering all of the shots in the preview for 129, a lot of us were umming and ahhing about whether some of that work was actually his. It has been confirmed that the artwork shown in that preview wasn't his, so we do now know that other animators are taking cues from him in pretty convincing ways. That's obviously great to hear, but unfortunately that bit of info also did lead to the revelation that Takahashi is not on episode 130, which is pretty surprising considering a lot of people were building that episode up to be the big final fight, with 131 wrapping up the tournament and possibly more. In fact, Toei's provisional title for that episode is an unprecedented super showdown, with 131 being Goku until the day we meet again. That definitely fits fans' visions of how things will play out, but I do have a little theory that I'll touch on later. When I first got this news, I was obviously very upset. It's hard to imagine a final fight without Takahashi at this point, but the source did follow up and say that although he won't be on 130, he will be on episode 131. They also told us that episode 131 will be supervised by Tadayoshi Yamamuro, the series chief director of animation and character designer, but not only that, it's being directed and storyboarded by Megumi Ishitani, one of Toei's youngest and brightest talents. She's been an assistant director on Super throughout this arc, and you'll know her work from the Yoka Yoka dance and an evil angel and righteous devil ending. Much of episode 107 was her doing too, so she's clearly got a lot of talent. Aside from that, she's also good friends with some of the younger Toei talents like Kodai Watanabe and co, so although there's no confirmation, there's always the off chance we may see one of her friends popping up too. At the very least, her work for this episode has been described as moving and wonderful, so I do have very high hopes in that regard. I would be very surprised if they used Takahashi in an episode with no action, so I do wonder whether 131 will be structured a little bit similarly to episode 40, where the bulk of the fight took place in 39, with 40 left to handle the final moments. That doesn't really leave much time to wrap Super up or to tackle the end of Z like I think a lot of people have been expecting, but there's also the possibility that Super might end on a cliffhanger with some sort of see you in 2019 thing like My Hero Academia did. We also got a rumour, not actually a confirmation here that one of the series directors would handle episode 130, so either Tatsuya Nagamine or Ryota Nakamura. If that's the case, then it may well mean that it does wrap up in 130, and whatever Takahashi does is just a complex piece of animation independent from that fight. Obviously, we have seen similar things like that in the past, with Goku flying away on the dragon at the end of GT. There are a lot of possibilities, so I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts in the comments on where you think this ending might be going. For me, I'm quite interested to see what Tadayoshi Yamamuro does to Takahashi's work under him in this case. Yamamuro is obviously very well known for heavily correcting animators, and Takahashi's work these days is very, very far away from the character designs. I had a source tell me that although Yamamuro very heavily corrected Takahashi's work towards the start of the Future Trunk special, by the end of that process he was barely redrawing anything. That would normally make me very hopeful, but the last few times he was under Yamamuro, his work looked incredibly unlike the style we know and love him for, so the final results there will be very interesting, very telling on how Yamamuro approaches things these days. Before I go, another reminder that Naoto Shishida has said multiple times now that he will be taking part in Super before the series wraps up, so we've still got that to look forward to there. Hopefully they've managed to organise his schedule in a way that means we get a pretty heavily animated scene from him, and not the unfortunately limited approach we saw in his last few contributions. Shida's art is impressive enough that his stills are seriously impactful all on their own, but I think I speak for everyone when I say it would be much more preferable to have his maximum output for a final fight. Tomorrow night we'll obviously get the preview for 130, so if there's something super interesting there, or we end up with another 60 second preview during the off week, I'll definitely make sure to break that down too. 
But that is all I have for you for now. It's been very painful sitting on this info for the past month, but I finally got the go ahead to talk about it. So hopefully you found it interesting. Like I said, be sure to let me know how you think the ending of Super is going to play out. And of course, let me know your general thoughts on the other reveals in this video. Be sure to leave a rating, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.